Black Friday, Small Business Saturday, and Cyber Monday have all come and gone, but the excitement is far from over. Now, in fact, today is a special day for many organizations like Roger Williams Park Zoo. That's where we visited to get the scoop on giving back. I want them to go down that side. Yay! <laughs> Giving Tuesday is now Giving Zoo Day. It's an opportunity for people to give back to their community and to give to great, you know, not-for-profits and organizations like the zoo. People don't realize that the admission tickets only cover a small part of our operating budget. It costs over $10 million to run the zoo and to take care of our animals and do the great conservation education work we do. Like caring for the giant otters. These guys came to us from the Los Angeles Zoo and Botanical Gardens. Romo, who has the more white on his chest, he is six years old, and Fernando is four years old. And they've got those webbed feet and the big flat tail that really helps them kind of speed along in the water. And they've got that super dense fur that keeps their skin dry. We even had a chance to feed them. Here they eat fish, so we feed them smelt, capelin, tilapia, and the river trout. Okay. Um, but in the wild, they can also eat crab, turtles, snakes, even small caiman. These guys are from South America, so they're in the South America rainforest. They live in freshwater along the Amazon and the Pantanal, which is like a big wetlands area. But they need your help. Part of the money you know, that we raise actually goes towards giant otters in the wild. So it's not just helping our zoo animals, but it's also helping the wild cousins as well. So we distribute that money quite evenly throughout the zoo. And basically all of your experiences that you have here, as well as their wild cousins, are benefiting from your donations. These guys are endangered. Unfortunately, they were listed endangered in 1999. They say there may be only around 5,000 of them in the wild. Romo, Fernando, and their friends will all benefit from your generosity. We are working with species in the wild, not just the animals that we have here at the zoo, but animals in the wild that we can help directly through your donations. The people of Rhode Island and New England feel ownership of our zoo, and, and that's really important because it is their zoo. And because it's your zoo, then you, know, you want to make sure that you have the best zoo possible, and that's what we're trying to make sure we do. And we found out that that new exhibit is finally opening up Friday. Yes, it is. It's been long anticipated and it's really nice inside. And those mm -hmm. otters were really funny to watch. I mean, those <laughs> things were up and down that slide like crazy the whole time we were there. Yeah. It really was. It was it fun was, to watch. They, they are a lot of fun. If you're interested in giving back to the zoo so you can help endangered animals like those giant otters, mm -hmm. head to roadshow.com for a link to their website.